today in this video i'm going to uh, i'm make you understand how the speaking is being conducted in the speaking test and this video will be very beneficial for those students who don't have any idea how the speaking is being conducted over there and uh, of course uh, that will be very beneficial video for the IELTS aspirants they can check how the speaking is marked how the speaking is um, assessed and uh, you can check the assessment criteria in one of my videos that is given in the description box so that you can achieve your higher band score okay guys so hope you enjoy this video and uh, subscribe my channel don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications now you can follow us on the other websites as well on the other sites as well that is mentioned below thank you good morning ma'am good morning welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam my name is karuna I'm your speaking examiner today. May I saw you see your identification? Yes, yeah, sure. Here it is. And what's your full name? My full name is Sandesha Gandhi. All right. Sandesha, here's your passport back. Thank you. For part one, I will ask a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. All right. Yes, ma'am. So, let's talk about weekends. How do you usually spend your weekends? Um, most probably, I spend my weekends finishing up my pending work, which includes uh, household chores or my study material. So, this is how I spend most of my weekends. What did you do last weekend? Uh, last weekend, I remember, I went out for a movie with my friends and on the way, we also uh, stopped by the shopping mall. What do other people do on weekends in your hometown? Usually, uh, people in my hometown prefer to relax on the weekends and uh, some of them also go for outings or restaurants and hotels and some of them also like to do physical exercises on weekends as it is a relaxing time. Is there anything new that you would like to do on weekends? Yes, I'm keen on new things and if I uh, get this opportunity, so I'll definitely make a use of it. If I have to do something new on the weekend, I would prefer uh, to decorate my room with paper crafts and uh, I would just watch it from YouTube and decorate my whole room. Okay. Does your family go for shopping on weekends? I can't say every weekend but uh, fortnightly or monthly we go for shopping and sometimes when we go for outings on the weekends so we stop by the mall too. In your country, do men and women usually do the same kind of things on weekends? Generally, uh, women finish up doing their household chores or uh, they prefer to go for uh, outings or for a walk and some of them also like to go to beauty parlors and men, men usually prefer to relax on the weekends after their busy schedule, after their busy week. So. That's how they spend the weekend. All right, Sandisha, that is the end of part one. All right, ma'am. Now for part two, here is a card with some questions. Has some, a note paper and a pencil. Okay, ma'am. You will have one minute to look at your card and think about your answers. And then you will have speak uh, for two minutes. Okay, ma'am. May I turn over the card? Yes. Okay, Sandesha, your one minute preparation time begins now. All right, ma'am. Okay, Sandesha, your one minute preparation time is up. Just start. 
Winning prizes as a, has always been a memorable event for everyone. I have won a number of prizes, but here I would like to talk about a prize which was really close to me. And I attained first position in the national level declamation competition held uh, just a couple of months ago during this pandemic itself. So I was in the first category and the topic was reproduce a famous speech by a Nobel Peace Prize winner. So talking about the number of participants, it was a national level competition. So there were innumerable participants in my category itself. I think uh, more than 500 were there. And it was not a cup of tea. I had to work hard for it. The time duration was set as two to three minutes. And the, and the speech I chose was one of the famous female activists and children activists, uh, Malala Yousafzai. And uh, I chose her speech and it was 30 minutes long. I cut, it off, I cut off the extra parts of it and it was on the dot three minutes. And my mother assisted me a lot in the same. She helped me uh, write the content and uh, she recorded the video, uh, sent it to the authorities via mail. And after a fortnight, uh, the result was out and my name was mentioned at the top. I attained first position and I was over cloud nine and my mother was just on the top of the world. And she uh, shared the great piece of news with her new and dear ones, her relatives. And also she threw a party. And in lockdown, it was a homemade party, of course. So it was a wonderful experience for me. And winning this prize was very memorable. It was a national level declamation competition. And I enjoyed it a lot. I had to burn the midnight oil for it. All right. So please pass back the paper, pencil, and yes, card. Sure, ma Thank you. All right. And now I will ask you some more questions for Kapi that is related to your topic. All right, ma'am. Okay, Sandesha, do you think receiving the prizes is a wonderful feeling? Yes, of course. Receiving a prize is a wonderful feeling for everyone. Everyone gets admired and appreciated and it motivates them to do more, to participate more. So it is a wonderful experience to win a prize. Why do you think some teachers use competitions as class activity? Uh, well, uh, some teachers want to motivate the children who do not participate and uh, by doing class activities instead of competition the children get motivated because there is no uh, there is no competition between them it is just a class activity so they get motivated they participate in more and more activities and they enhance their skills what rewards can children get from school Usually, uh, schools provide children with shields or uh, trophies, medals, certificates as token of appreciation. But I have seen some schools providing useful uh, things and useful stuff to the students such as stationery or books which help them to. Alright. Should parents push their children to get prizes? Actually not. They must encourage children to participate and give their best. And they must not force their children to get the prize. They must not say, we need a prize from you, we need a prize from you. That's not the thing. They must teach their children the value of hard work. Is it good for children to compete for prizes? Everything has a dual nature. So in this case, uh, demerits and merits both are there. First of all, children get motivated, inspired to participate more in their activities and competitions. But on the other hand, some children, it affects the mentality of some children and they become, and they do not have the habit to accept their failures. So 
it has both pros and cons. Okay, Sandesha, that is the end of part three. Have a great day. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sandesha got 7.5 in the speaking test, her lexical resource, her coherence and cohesion, grammatical range and accuracy, her fluency and pronunciation was, were excellent and uh, she was good uh, at understanding the questions and her answers were so complete and fluent and uh, she used a variety of grammatical range and she used a wide range of vocabulary itself. And I must say her confidence was too good. Her speaking was so natural, means it didn't, it didn't seem that she memorized the answers. So overall she got 7.5 bands and hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the students who are not having any idea how the speaking is being uh, conducted over there, uh, they can take the idea by watching this video. And this video is um, uh, obviously very beneficial for the IELTS experience as well. Um, okay, thank you.